In South Texas, this river is the border with Mexico, and it's fairly easy to cross. But once across, the undocumented immigrants find little water, heavy brush, and many small creatures with nasty bites. U.S. Border Patrol agent Jason Owens says smugglers often leave people on their own here. You know, the guides that bring them across, if they can't keep up with the group, they leave them behind. They, they, they walk around lost, no water, no idea where they're supposed to go, no uh, form of communication, no food. Uh, this close to the river, a lot of people can, uh, can find themselves in, in serious trouble and, and die. Owens says the human smugglers are part of a Mexican criminal world that includes drug trafficking cartels responsible for killing thousands of people. The smuggling groups, you see infighting with the cartel, uh, the cartel fighting with the Mexican authorities who are doing their best over there to try and get control of the situation. Um, and then they come over here and a lot of times you have the same thing. In South Texas, hundreds of unidentified bodies have been discovered, many dug out of the ground by a volunteer forensic team from Baylor University. Those who come from Central America are fleeing drug gang violence and poverty in countries like Honduras. On the long journey through Mexico, many are robbed and abused, including children who travel alone. Border Patrol spokesman Peter Bidegain says once they cross, the child immigrants often seek the protection of the agents and confide in them. A lot of times when you ask them, you know, how was your journey, what was it like, they start to cry. It's very emotional. Um, it's emotional for the agents and it's emotional for the kids. Tony Payan, who heads the Mexico Center at Rice University's Baker Institute, says child smugglers face little danger of being caught. What these guys do is they take the child and they take him to the U.S.-Mexico border and then they push them across the river without having to cross themselves. So they're not exposing themselves to being arrested and detained by the Border Patrol. As long as many people are able to make it across the border and stay, experts say people in Central America will continue to pay smugglers thousands of dollars per person. Despite the dangers, Tony Payan says what many immigrants face at home is worse. What we're talking about here is enormous, very deep poverty in Central America and hopelessness. And when people are hopeless, they're going to move. It's been the history of mankind. In Texas, Border Patrol agents continue to look out for drug smugglers and for those who cross the border illegally and risk their lives in a harsh environment. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.